could are going to warm up, but that ain't going to just instantly warm the ball up. Um, Dick Tracy has to say, I blame Jimmy for us having a chance at the conference finals for us. I blame Jimmy for have for us having a chance at the conference finals. Yeah, quarterback is always going to get blamed for everything, man. That's just the way of the NFL. Um, you know, the game is won in the trenches. You know, hey, if the game wasn't won in the trenches, then we would not be where we are right now. Um, with all the quarterback hits, with all the pressure we're able to put on the opposing quarterback and how uh, much we're protecting our quarterback, that has proved a winning formula without a doubt. And, you know, the quarterback does have to make enough plays to keep, you know, to not have that hiccup. So hopefully we just continue to see. Uh, Luke Luna says, Dick Tracy is a re is as relentless as the Jimmy haters. Neither side can actually see the truth about the other side. One thing that I want to say uh, about the division of the San Francisco 49ers fan base is I did a little bit of uh, thinking about it and I thought, you know, that probably fires up the 49ers locker room just a little bit. I'm sure everybody's individuals. I'm sure some people don't care, but I'm sure some people do. I'm sure some people take the division amongst us. And I, I truly believe that that could in turn, turn into more unity inside that locker room. Oh, y'all want to, you know, continue to doubt us? Watch this. Y'all want to continue to have division and say this and say that? Watch what we're going to do. In this locker room, we are fired up. We are juiced up. In that locker room, you know, as much as they are – you know, for Jimmy Garoppolo, I'm sure they're the same way for Trey Lance. I feel like every single one of those dudes, most of the leaders on that team genuinely love each other. And, you know, any little fire that we can bring them, whether it be even in division amongst the fans, I feel like that fires them up, you know, to be honest. Dick Tracy, one side is correct. Hey, man, uh, I truly believe that just because one person is right doesn't mean the other person is wrong. There can be two rights. Uh, here, here, let me uh, say this differently. <clears throat> we are all individuals. And if you believe it, it's the truth. And to each man, to themselves, you know what I'm saying? I don't, when I see somebody comment a certain way, even if it's even if I don't agree with it, that's that person's feelings. That's that person's belief. You know, if they're not coming with just pure disrespect and they're not just coming to just uh, put someone down or, you know, do things like that. then I truly believe that, uh, you know, everything, everybody can be right. It just depends. You know, it just it just. To each man their their own, real talk. Me, me personally, I don't like anybody, you know, I don't let anybody dictate what I do, except for this man right here. Uh, Dick Tracy says, good channel, keep it up, bro. Hey, thank you for coming through, my man. Hopefully you are uh, blessed and everything is well with you. And uh, let's go 49ers. Luke Luna his prediction for the game is 31-24 Niners. Let's go, man. You know, I think it's going to be a little bit lower scoring game, but we will see. We will see. See. Who is it? C.G. Ruthless Sports. You want brutally honest? He'll bring it to you. If y'all don't know who C.G. Uh, Ruthless is, and I'm sure every one of y'all do, Go check him out. Uh, he does 49ers uh, YouTube as well. Uh, what's up, my man? Hopefully you are blessed. And he says, yo, what's up, man? About three days away, man. Let's get it. We are almost there. Sure. Luke Luna says, there's just things that he is used to with Jimmy. Kyle is used to calling games and building one play off of another. 
I think he could win with Lance, but he would have to figure it out as he goes. Uh, man, I feel like Kyle, like I continue to keep saying, I feel like Kyle Shanahan has way more things up his sleeve than we know. I feel like he has already started game planning next year. It's weird. I feel like he's completely in the moment, but he's still got to plan A, B, C, D, all the way through the alphabet, man. I don't, the more and more I keep thinking about Kyle Shanahan, um, the more and more I see, uh, I, I, I almost feel like he is just barely winning on purpose. Like he doesn't want to show his whole hand, you know, y'all could call me crazy, say what you will, but you know, Oh, why would he ever do that? You know, why would he ever want to just barely win? Why would he ever want to just this, that, or what reasons? Because sometimes there is a method to the goodness. I don't say method to the madness. I call it the method to the goodness. I feel like sometimes when you have a super brilliant mind, you are going to just uh, in some moments you're going to use simplicity and in some moments you're going to throw a change up some moments you're going to throw a fastball curveball I feel like he I could almost compare Kyle Shanahan to like the Greg Maddox of pitchers in baseball like Greg Maddox was that guy who could just he was the master of control you know he just had five different pitches he could place it on every single corner of the plate like you know that he he just thought a whole different way of the game on how to attack and I feel like Kyle Shanahan is a lot better than we uh, might all understand that's just my belief you know let me know what y'all think about Kyle Shanahan Dick Tracy says here's the difference Jimmy haters are fake unfaithful Hey, to each person their own, you know, um, faithful, rise up, come together. Let's bring some unity regardless of the differences. And just because of the differences doesn't mean anybody's wrong, man. If you're coming with blatant hate, if you're coming with just disrespect, that might be one thing. But for me and mine's, uh, it's nothing but love, man, all the time. Love, 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 real talk. And, you know, I wasn't born on Valentine's Day for no reason, man. Uh, so, hey, keep keep pushing that love, man. Keep pushing that respect and that, uh, you know, unity. And, you know, that's how mountains move is when you rise up together. Real talk. Dick Tracy says, were the fake fans who wanted to fire potential coach of the year, Shanny, right? Those same fans wanted to train, trade uh, Kittle, too. Yeah, I don't know, my man. Um, you know, half, you know, it's divided. <clears throat> I believe sometimes through stuff that we might not understand in the division, I feel like I feel like it got the 49ers even more united. There were points and times earlier in the season where I wasn't paying attention to it as much. And, you know, I got bitter. I had moments of bitterness. I had moments of uh, being frustrated. <clears throat> But the more and more I humbled, the more and more I let the Lord humble me. Um, you know, I kind of can't, I always come back to the basics and my senses of optimism, togetherness, heart, fire, and just all of it, man. Real talk. Luke Luna says, it depends. I think fans can be crucial of Jimmy and point out mistakes, but fans who root for, the jersey can see there's good and bad. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Absolutely agree, man. Everything all depends. Depends. Hey, we all have different personalities. We all got different opinions. So Dick Tracy, good take. Shanny is calculated. Absolutely, man. He is uh, super meticulous, man. He got that whole, you got McDaniels. You got D'Amico Ryans. John Lynch, man, is a Hall of Famer. He's a Hall of Famer safety. You got to be pretty smart. You know, we got some smart people in the building. You got someone like uh, Mike Shanahan, who has been connected to the 49ers for decades. Uh, and, you know, Kyle Shanahan was a little kid, man, just 
You know, he's been doing this since a little kid. SG Sports Talk channel, channel. What's up, my man? Good stuff for coming through. He says, hi, Kelts. And he also says, go 49ers. Man, let's go. Can't wait. Three days, man. And he also says, let's beat the Green Bay Packers. Let's stomp them out. Um, I feel like there are a few factors that. There it is! There it is! Get in there!